Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. It's Brandon with Campbell Fitness and today I want to take a brief look at macronutrients. Now, if you've watched any videos on this channel or my previous one, you know I like to keep things pretty short and simple and to the point. I do this for a couple of reasons. Mainly, I know you have a very short attention span as I do myself, so I try to keep it under five minutes if possible. As well as some of these things can get pretty complex and when things get complex and we don't understand them necessarily, it leads to confusion and misunderstanding. So I want to keep it simple. So we're going to talk macronutrients. As we probably know, there are are three macronutrients, proteins, carbs, and fats, and of those three, only proteins and fats are essential, which means you don't have to eat carbohydrates. They're not needed by the body. However, that's not to say that they can't be very beneficial. So each macronutrient plays its own role, and this is how I really like to look at them. Now, of course, when we go into proteins or fats or carbs, there's different kinds. I want to avoid that in this video, and again, just take a very simplistic view of what they are and what they do and their role in the body. So protein, as we're probably more than familiar with, its main responsibility is building, repairing, and maintaining tissue, whether it be muscle, skin, hair, all sorts of things. Whereas fat, and most people hear fat and they think, oh, I can't eat fat because I'm going to get fat, that's completely false. As I mentioned already, it's an essential nutrient. Typically, you're going to want 20 to 30% of your total caloric intake to come from fats, dietary fats. And fat's main role, obviously, number one is to protect internal organs. You know, there's a reason why you store a lot of fat in your gut. There's a lot of important organs down there that aren't protected by your ribcage. Other than that, they aid in other things such as absorption and stuff and just kind of encouraging other processes that go on in your body and for hormone stuff. And when we get to carbs, people hear carbs and they typically think that they're bad also because we've kind of been brainwashed in the last 20 years that carb intakes are bad and that's how we get fat. When it boils down to more of a caloric intake overall, which I'm sure you've heard not only many times on this channel in the past, but you'll hear it continually going forward as well too. Carbohydrates, while not essential, they are a preferred energy source for your body. It's very easy for your body to break them down, convert them to glucose, and then use them for energy, as opposed to, let's say, fat or protein. So carbs do have their role, again, quick, easy source of energy in most cases, not to mention many of us enjoy carbs. So all macronutrients can play a role in the body if used correctly. It won't lead to fat gain necessarily, depending on how your diet's set up, but just know that you can enjoy all three and still live a very healthy lifestyle. So I hope that sheds some light on macronutrients. Again, we'll get into more information later on, but in the meantime, stay big.